Welcome, my friends, to a Holy Trinity devotion from Holy Trinity Parish in Bremerton, Washington. This is adapted from a devotion found in a prayer book of Catholic devotions, Praying the Seasons and Feasts of the Church Year, compiled by William Story and published by Loyola Press. Like the Bible studies we provide on our parish website, I'll give some examples from Christian art as well as other illustrations. And I encourage you that if you find yourself moved to pause and reflect a little bit more on the passage of words or on the image, uh, simply press the pause button and reflect as your heart is content to do so. Christian art depicting the Holy Trinity is, is very old, almost as old as the awareness of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit itself. Here is an image of the Trinity as depicted by three persons. Many Christians are familiar with the scutum fidei, the shield of faith. This goes back to the early 13th century and on the left is a modern depiction of what you see on the right. The New Testament doesn't come right out and say, this is the Trinity defined. But we find Father, Son, Holy Spirit and their relationship mentioned in many New Testament writings. The bishops of the Christian world gathered at Nicaea in the year 325 to define further the theology of Father and Son. And then in 381, the Council of Constantinople more accurately described the theology of the Holy Spirit, and one of the movers behind that was St. Athanasius of Alexandria. These two councils are responsible for the wording that we utter when we proclaim the creed at Mass or in our private prayer. Monks in France observed various devotions to the Holy Trinity in the 800s, and by the 12th century, the observance had spread to England. This decoration from the Basilica dedicated to one of France's patron saints shows the dove above God the Father and the Son as depicted by the Lamb. By the 14th century, the French observance was so strong and evidence of the Spirit's movement that the Pope extended the feast to all Western churches. And this is where we celebrate it today on the Sunday following Pentecost. Here is the order of service for the Holy Trinity devotion. As we move through the devotion, I'll provide text for much of it. Anything in bold would be the assembly's response if we were praying this in a community. But of course, you're at home by yourself. You can pray the words in any way that you wish. The lector and I will narrate the text as given and we'll pause for the bold print, which will be your turn. Let's take a few moments to get ready and let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. O 
All hail, adore Trinity. All hail, eternal unity. O God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit, ever one. Three persons praise we evermore, one only God our hearts adore. In thy sure mercy ever kind, may we your strong protection find. O Trinity, O unity, be present as we worship thee, and with the songs that angels sing, unite the hymns of praise we bring. God reigns in beauty. Alleluia. The Lord is king, robed with majesty. The Lord is robed, girded with might. God reigns in beauty. Alleluia. The world will surely stand in place, never to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old. You are from everlasting. God reigns in beauty. Alleluia. The flood has raised up, Lord. The flood has raised up its roar. The flood has raised its pounding waves. God reigns in beauty. Alleluia. more powerful than the roar of many waters, more powerful than the breakers of the sea. Powerful in the heavens is the Lord. God reigns in beauty. Alleluia. Your decrees are firmly established. Holiness befits your house, Lord, for all the length of days. God reigns in beauty. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God reigns in beauty. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Blessed and immortal Trinity, mighty Father, only begotten Son, and Holy Spirit, you are our first beginning and last end. We praise, adore, and magnify you and implore you to conduct us into endless bliss with all the host of angels and the legions of saints who worship you now and forever. When the kindness and generous love of God, our Savior, appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of his mercy, he saved us through the bath of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. Holy is God, holy and strong, holy and living forever. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge.
Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Day by day, we bless you. Keep us today, Lord, from all sin. Lord, show us your love and mercy. In you, Lord, is our hope. Abba, merciful and compassionate Father. Abba, Lord of the angelic messengers and of all the unearthly powers. Abba, who redeemed the work of your hands by your only Son. Lord Jesus, image of the invisible God and firstborn of all creation. Lord Jesus, light of the angels and savior of the human race. Lord Jesus, the firstborn from the dead and head of your body, the church. Holy Spirit, Advocate and Guide of the Faithful. Holy Spirit, Comforter and Consoler of those who mourn. Holy Spirit, Giver of Life and Teacher of Truth. We now offer personal intentions as we pause to pray for the church, for our government, for our city and neighborhoods, for people who labor in service to others, for our family members and friends, for those in need of food or shelter, for the sick and those near death, and for your other special intentions.
As Jesus taught us, let us pray. Our Father, God our Father, you revealed the wonderful mystery of the Godhead by sending into the world the Word who speaks all truth and the Spirit who makes us holy. Grant that we may proclaim the fullness of faith by acknowledging and worshiping three persons, eternal in glory, one God of majesty and power. We ask this Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, living and true, forever and ever. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all.